Hey guys and girls, welcome to iEffectner.com video tutorials and today we are going to learn how to greet people, how to introduce your, yourself and how to say goodbyes in Dutch. This is a four part tutorial and let's begin our part one. Hello, how are you? Hello, who had het met jij? Hello, who had? G is pronounced as ga in Dutch, so it's who had het. Who had het met jij? J is pronounced as ja, so it's jij. Who had het? met jij. Hallo, hoe gaat het met jij? It's in informal environment. When you are talking to a younger person, then you say jij. But when you are talking to an older person or to your boss, then you say u. Hallo, hoe gaat het met u? It's not you, it's u. In Dutch, it is pronounced as U. Hallo, who gaat het met U? And A is pronounced as A. So it's not hello, it's hallo. Who gaat het met U? This is for the formal in, uh, greetings. And Yai is used for informal. Or you can say, hi, how are you doing? Hi is hoi. Hoi, who hat het? Hoi, it's not hui, because I is pronounced as e in Dutch, so it's hoi. Hoi, ho hat het. Or you can say, hoi, who is het? Hoi, who is het? Hoi, who gaat het? Hoi, who is het? Hi, how are you doing? Or sometimes uh, you greet people by saying morning. How it's going? How is it going? In Dutch we say morgen. It's not morgen. It's morgen. Mor Morgen. R is pronounced as R. Morgen. Morgen. Gaat goed. Is it going good? Ga is going. Go. So morgen. Gaat goed. Morgen. Gaat goed. Morgen. Gaat goed. R is R. Morgen. Gaat goed. Morning. How is it going? Morgen. Gaat goed. Or in the formal environment, you say good morning. How are the things? Good morning is Goede morgen. Goede morgen. Who start het arme? Goede morgen. Who start het arme? It's not me, it's me. Because E is pronounced as a. Who started arme? Goede morgen. Morgen. Who started arme? Good morning. How are the things? Good afternoon. Is called Goede medag. Goede medag. So it's medag. It's not Goede mid dag. It's Goede medag because E is pronounced as. I is pronounced as E. Goede middag. Or you can simply say Goeden dag. Goeden dag. Good evening or good night is pronounced as Goede, Goeden avond. Avond is night or evening. Goeden avond. Goeden avond. Goeden avond. Good morning. 
is Khude Morgen. Good afternoon is Khuden Dag or Khude Medag. And good evening or good night is Khuden Afwand. And uh, you can reply, I am fine, thanks. Met my gaat het prima. Dank je. Je is used when you are talking in an informal environment. So uh, you are saying, Met mij with me, gaat het prima. It's going good. Prima is good. Prima. It's not prima. It's prima. Remember, I is pronounced as E. It's prima. Met mij gaat het prima. Dank je. Met mij gaat het prima. Dank je. I am fine. Thanks. Or if you say I am fine. Thank you. Then it is het gaat goed. Dank u. It's not da dank you, it's dank u. You is u. Het gaat goed dank u. Het gaat goed dank u. I am fine, thank you. Het gaat goed dank u. Uh, for thank you, usually we use dank je wel or dank je. Ye, ye. It's not dank je, it's dank je. Because je is pronounced as ye. Dank je. Uh, for informal environment and if you want to be polite or out of respect you say dank u well dank u dank u or so you can simply say bedankt 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 or if you are very obliged you can say mein dank mein dank remember that I and J is basically I is pronounced as E and J is pronounced as Y. So it's you can see just you can see that it's Y. It's mine. It's not my gen. It's mine. I J is pronounced as Y. Mine dank. Mine dank. Dank ye well. Dank ye. Dank u well. Dank u. Bedank. Mine dank. Or you can say I am very well, thanks. Het gaat heel goed. Dank je wel. Het gaat heel goed. Dank je wel. Het gaat heel goed. It's going very good. Dank je wel. I am very well, thank you. Het gaat heel goed. Dank u wel. Het gaat heel goed. Dank u wel. Het gaat heel goed. Dank u wel. I am very well, thank you. Het gaat heel goed. Dank u wel. Or you can say not so well. So it's net zo goed. Net zo goed. Net zo goed. Not so good. Not so well. Not so good. Need so good, not so well. Or you can reply, great, thank you. Prima, mine dank. Prima, mine. Remember it is Y. IJ is the small Y. Mine dank. So it's a tip that you always uh, pronounce it as Y. Mine. Prima, mine dank. So uh, let's, uh, if, you, if you reply all is good, it is alles is good, alles is good. Or if you are asking uh, a question, is everything okay? You can ask alles good. Usually we ask alles good, is everything okay? Is, is it good? Alles good? Is, or is it all right? And how are you? And ho gaat het? Met jij, met u, you can add it. But if you just ask, and who gaat het? And who gaat het? 
it means Henda, how are you? And who got it met you or who? And who got it met you met who? How about you? His pronounces is and met you. You can say het uh, hat hood and met you. And what about you? And how about you? And met you. Or and met u. So, uh, guys and girls, now we will begin our practice session. So, it's a dialogue and you can repeat after me. So, it's a dialogue session. A is an older person and, and a B is a younger person. So, A will be using yai, ye, and B, because he is talking to an older person A, he would be talking to you, U out of respect so a hi how are you hoy who got it met yao hoy who got it met yao b hello i am fine thank you how about you hello het gaat goed dank u wel and met u hello het gaat goed dank u wel and met O, A, I am very well, thank you. Het gaat heel goed. Dank je wel. Dank je wel. Because he is talking to a younger person, so he says, Dank je wel. Het gaat heel goed. Dank je wel. Het gaat heel goed. Dank je wel. B, how is everything? Hoe gaat het? Hoe gaat het? A, great. Thank you. Prima, thank you. Prima, thank you. So guys and girls, now let's begin our practice session. I will uh, be asking you some questions and you will be reading the answers and you will try to speak them in Dutch. Me, Goeden dag. Hoe gaat het met u? You. Yes, it's Goeden dag. Het gaat goed. Dank u wel. En met u. Me. Het gaat heel goed. Het gaat heel goed. Dank u wel. You. Ask me a question. Hoe gaat het? How is everything? Me. Prima. Dank u. Prima. Dank u. So now uh, let's suppose it's you and this one is me. You ask me a question. Yes. Goeden dag. Who had het met u? I will say. Goeden dag. Het gaat goed. Dank u wel. And met u? You? Yes. Het gaat heel goed. Dank u wel. Me. Hoe gaat het? You? Prima. Dank u. So guys and girls, this was our lesson number one of greetings. I will see you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys and girls, welcome back to iFactioner.com video tutorials. And uh, in this tutorial, we will continue our discussion on how to greet people in Dutch. Pleased to meet you. You can simply say an genam. An genam. Remember that G is pronounced as ha. An genam. An genam. Pleased to meet you. Or in a formal environment, you can say an genam. Caneste maken. An genam. Caneste. Marken. An genam kenneste maken. E is pronounced as A. That's why uh, we say it. An genam kenneste maken. An genam kenneste maken. Pleased to meet you.
It's lovely to see you again. Het is heerlijk om je weer te zien. Remember that uh, I and J are pronounced as Y. Heerlijk. So it's a Y. Heerlijk. Het is heerlijk om je weer te zien. Het is heerlijk om je weer te zien. Heerlijk is lovely. Het is heerlijk om je weer te zien. It is lovely to see you again. Nice to meet you. Leuk je te ontmoeten. Leuk je te ontmoeten. Leuk je te ontmoeten. J is pronounced as Y. That's why it's Y. And U is pronounced as U. Luke ye te ontmutten. Luke ye te ontmutten. And sometimes uh, the N is pronounced in a very soft uh, a voice. So it's ontmutter. Some people say will say it like this. Luke ye te ontmutter. Or you can uh, say Luke te ontmutten. Nice to meet you. I haven't seen you for ages. Ik heb je lang niet meer gezien. Ik heb je lang niet meer gezien. Ik heb je lang niet meer gezien. I haven't seen you for ages. I have missed you. Ik heb je gemist. Ik heb je gemist. I have missed you. Ik heb je gemist. What have you been up to? What heb je gedaan de laatste tijd? What what heb je gedaan de laatste tijd? What heb je gedaan de laatste tijd? What have you been up to? How is your family? How is your family? Who got it met ye gezin? Gezin is family. Who got it met ye gezin? Got gezin. Who got it met ye gezin? Who got it met ye gezin? Gezin. How is your family? How are your kids? Who zijn ye kinderen? Uh, so if uh, you are talking to an elder person or uh, if you would like to be polite then you have to say U not Ye. Ye is for informal environment and talking to the peers or uh, to the subordinates. Who sign Ye Kinderen? Who sign Ye Kinderen? How are your kids? How's your dad? Who had het met je vader? Remember that V is pronounced as fe. And uh, you can uh, watch my tutorial on the Dutch alphabets and you will be better able to understand this tutorial then. Who had het met je vader? Who had het met je vader. Hoe gaat het met je vader? Hoe gaat het met je vader? How is your dad? He sends his regards. Hi. You can say hi. Hi is actually he. When you want to emphasize someone, then you write or uh, speak like this. Hi. Hi laat je groten. Hij laat je groten. Regards, groten. Ch groten. Hij laat je groten. He sends his regards. My teacher sends his regards. Mijn leraar. Mijn. It's I J is Y. Mijn leraar laat 
kharutan mein lehrer lat u kharutan mein lehrer lat u kharutan mein lehrer lat u kharutan my teacher sends his regards so now let's uh, see a dialogue between two persons a and b a says pleased to meet you on khenam on khenam on khenam b pleased to meet you on khenam can iste makan on khenam can iste makan a how is your mom who hat het met je moeder moeder who hat het met je moeder how is your mom who hat het met je moeder b she is fine thank you she sends her regards z is prima dank u wel z lat u kharutan so you can all also write here z z is prima dank u wel dank u wel z lat u kharutan a i miss her ik miss haar ik miss haar haar is her a aangenaam b aangenaam kennis te maken hoe gaat het met je moeder b ze is prima dank u wel zij laat u geroeten ik mis haar so guys and girls now let's uh, practice this session uh, i will first uh, uh, say a sentence and then you will try to answer me by reading the answer me on khenam can iste maken you yes on khenam who is het met o father now i am respecting you i am giving you respect that's why i am asking you your yours in respect or if i if you were younger than me or if you are my friend then i would say yao but because i don't know you i ask you who is het met u father u father you hi is prima dank u wel hi laat o kharutan hi is prima dank u wel hi laat u kharutan me ik mis hem and uh, that's uh, the practice session now you will be me and i will be you so you ask me a question yes on khenam can iste maken on khenam you who is het met u father ha is prima dank u wel hai lato kharutan you ek miss him okay guys and girls thank you very much if you would like to do some more exercises then please visit us on ifactioner.com please subscribe to our channel and uh, please like this video i will see you in the next tutorial which is about introducing yourself until then take care bye bye hey guys and girls welcome back to ifactioner.com learn dutch through english video tutorials and in this uh, tutorial we will continue our discussion on how to greet people in dutch my name is ifactioner you are now introducing yourself mine naam is ifactioner ik heet i factner so it's mine m y my name is i factner actually i is pronounced as e so in dutch if it's written like this then i would say 
my nam is effectner but because it's my name therefore i'm saying my nam is effectner or ik het het is called i am called effectner ik het effectner my nam is effectner my nam is effectner my nam is effectner or ik het it's not heat because e is pronounced as a so it's het i het effectner i am effectner or you can say i am effectner it's very simple ik ben effectner ik ben effectner ik ben effectner i am effectner i come from netherlands ik kom uit netherlands ik kom uit engeland ik kom uit engeland i come from england ik kom uit engeland i live in amsterdam ik woon in amsterdam a is a amster r r is r with the thrill amsterdam ik woon in amsterdam i live in amsterdam ik woon in amsterdam ik woon in amsterdam what is your name what is your good name who het jij or who het u jij is informal for younger persons or friends and u is for politeness or to give someone respect who het u u or who het jij who het jij who het jij what are you called who het u who het u where are you from waar komt u vandaan waar komt u vandaan waar komt u vandaan where are you from or waar kom je vandaan so uh, just remember that with u we use t and uh, in the in, in the future tutorials i will be telling you why do we use t with u and why not with ye var kom ye fandan var kom ye fandan var kom tu fandan where are you from where do you live var woon tu var var is where var woon tu var woon ye var woon tu var woon ye where do you live so it's formal and it's informal I am 30 years old. Ik ben 30. Ik ben 30. Or you can say ik ben 30 jaar. I am 30 years. I am of 30 years. Ik ben 30 jaar. Ik ben 30 jaar oud. Old. Ik ben 30 jaar oud. Jaar because j is pronounced as ya yaar ik ben 30 jaar oud how old are you who oud bent u who oud bent u who oud ben je who oud bent u who oud ben je ik ben 30 jaar oud So now we see a dialogue between two person person A and person B person A I am a factioner what's your name ik ben a factioner who het u B my name is factioner ik het factioner Where are you from? Var, kom tu fandan? Er, it's er. 
r var var kom tu fandan i am from england ik kom uit engeland engeland ik kom uit engeland where do you live waar woont u i live in rotterdam it's person b i live in rotterdam ik woon in rotterdam ik woon ik woon in rotterdam ik woon in rotterdam ik ben i factner who heet u ik heet factner waar komt u vandaan ik kom uit engeland waar woont u ik woon in rotterdam okay guys and girls now we will begin our practice session i will uh, ask you some questions in dutch and uh, you will be reading them from the screen and then answering me me ik ben i factner who heet u yes ik heet factner Waar komt u vandaan? Yes, ik kom uit Engeland. And uh, if you would like to see how do we pronounce different countries in Dutch, then please uh, search for my uh, video tutorial on country names. Ik kom uit Engeland. Me, prima. that's it and now you become me and i will become you please ask me a question ik ben i factor who hate u may i answer ik heet factor you waar komt to vandaan vandaan ik kom uit engeland you prima prima r prima okay guys and girls if you would like to do some more exercises then please visit us on ifactner.com please subscribe to our channel please like this video i will see you in the next tutorial which is how to say goodbyes in dutch until then take care Hey guys and girls, welcome to ifactner.com video tutorials and in this uh, video tutorial we will learn how to say goodbyes in Dutch. So let's begin our tutorial on greetings. Goodbyes. It's getting late. We must be we must getting going. Het Word laat we mutan khan why we, uh, actually we write it like this but we can also write it there like this het word laat we mutan khan het word laat it's getting late why mutan khan we must get going het word laat we mutan khan I must be on my way. Ik moet nu gaan. Now. Nu is now. Ik moet nu gaan. Remember that G is pronounced as ga. Ik moet nu gaan. Ik moet nu gaan. Ik moet nu gaan. I must be on my way. Until next time. Tot da volgende keer. Tot da volgende keer. Tot da volgende keer. Until the next time. Tot da volgende keer. Until the next time. It was lovely to see you again. Het was heel leuk. Remember that I and J are pronounced as Y. It's Y. Heel leuk. Het was heel leuk om je weer te zien. Het was heerlijk om je weer te zien. Het was heerlijk om je weer te zien. 
it was lovely to see you again nice to meet you an genaam kennis te maken an genaam kennis te maken an genaam kennis te maken nice to meet you an genaam kennis te maken the pleasure is all mine het genoegen is aan mijn kant 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 ga het it's not ha 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 it's ga ga het genoegen is aan mijn kant do keep in touch blijf in contact blijf in contact blijf in contact blijf in contact do keep in touch see you soon tot snel tot snel tot snel have a nice day en prettige dag en prettige dag en prettige dag en prettige dag have a nice day good luck feel success feel success feel v is pronounced as f feel feel success success feel success feel success feel success good luck see you later tot ziens tot later tot ziens tot ziens See you tomorrow. Tot morgen. Tot morgen. Tomorrow is tomorrow is morgen. Tot morgen. Tot morgen. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Dag. Doei. Doeg. So you will hear uh, Dutch people saying all these words. Dag. Doei. Do in informal environment. Dag, doei, doeg. Good night. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good night. Good afternoon. So now let's uh, see a dialogue between two persons A and B. A it's getting late. I must get going. Het wordt laat. Ik moet nu gaan. B. It was lovely to see you again. Het was heel leuk om je weer te zien. The pleasure is all mine. Het genoegen is aan mijn kant. B. Until next time. Goodbye. Tot the following day ke dag doei e see you later bye tot later doeg het wordt laat ik moet nu gaan het was heerlijk om je weer te zijn het genoegen is aan mijn kant tot volgende keer dag tot later doeg Okay guys and girls now we begin our uh, practice session I will be asking you or I will try to say something and you will be answering me by after reading the answer on the screen me het wordt laat ik moet nu gaan you aunt moeten het was erg Luke, ye te ont mutten. Het was erg luk, ye te ont mutten. Me, het genoegen is aan mijn kant. You, tot de volgende keer, dag. Me, tot later, doeg. Okay, now you become my me and I will become you. So, please begin the session. Het wordt laat. 
ik moet nu gaan. Mij, het was erg leuk je te ontmoeten. Jou, genoegen. Het genoegen is aan mijn kant. Mij, tot de volgende keer. Dag, jou. Tot later, doeg. Okay, guys and girls, this was our uh, tutorial on how to introduce yourself, how to uh, greet people, and how to say goodbye to people in Dutch. If you would like to do some more exercises, then please visit ifactner.com. Please like our tutorial and please subscribe to our channel. I will see you next time. Until then, tot later. Dag, doei. Hey guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Learn Dutch through English lesson series by ifactner.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn what do we say different animals in Dutch. Animals are called dieren in Dutch. De E A R A N Dairen Dairen Animals Antelope Antelope A N T E L O P E Antelope 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 Bear Bear B E A R Bear 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 Buffalo Buffalo B U F F A L Buffalo 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 Bull Bull B U L Bull 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 Camel Camel K A M A A L Camel 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 Cat Cut K A T Cut 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 Cheetah Soot Leopard S O O R T Soot Leopard L U E P A A R D Leopard Soot Leopard Soot Leopard Cow Ku K O E Q K O E Q Q Deer Hart H E R T Hart 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 Dog Hund H O N D Hund 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 Donkey Azel A Z A L Azel 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 Elephant Oliphant O L E F A N T Oliphant 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 Fox Foss Fe O S Foss 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 Frog Kicker K E K K A R Kicker 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 Giraffe Giraffe G I R 
a f f e giraf 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 goed hit g e i t hit 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 hij ook echel e g e l echel 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 horse part p a a r d part 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 kangaroo kan kharu kan kharu k a n k o e r o e e kan kharu kan kharu kan kharu leopard leopard l u e p a a r d leopard 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 lion leo l a a u v leo 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 monkey up a a p up 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 mouse mouse m u e s mouse 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 ostrich strauss vogel vogel is bird strauss vogel s t r u e s strauss v o g e l vogel strauss vogel strauss vogel strauss vogel ostrich panda panda p a n d a panda 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 pony pony p o n e pony 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 porcupine stackle falcon s t a k a l f a r k a n stackle falcon stackle falcon stackle falcon rabbit conan k o n e y a n conan conan remember that i n g are pronounced as y in dutch conan 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 rhinoceros news horn news is nose news horn n a u s news h o o r n news horn news horn news horn sheep scarp s c h a a p scarp 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 snake slang s l a n g slang 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 squirrel ek horn because uh, squirrel eat eat uh, ek therefore we call it ek horn ek horn a a k k h o o r n ek horn ek horn wolf wolf w o l f wolf 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 zebra 
zebra z a b r a zebra 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 so guys and girls let's begin our practice session please uh, as a practice repeat this lesson and repeat after me each word and if you like to do some more exercises and download the pdf regarding this uh, presentation then please go to ifectioner.com please subscribe to our channel and if you like this video then thumbs up i will see you in the next lesson until then take care bye bye hey guys and girls welcome to another episode of learn dutch through english lessons by ifectioner.com in this lesson we are going to learn what different body parts are called in dutch body parts lichaams delen lichaams mean body and delen means parts l e c h a a m s lichaams delen d e l e n delen lichaams delen arm arm a r m arm arm r with r with thrill r arm beard bart b a a r d bart 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 bone bot b o t bot 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 brain brain b r a e n brain 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 chin can k a e n can k e n can k e n can ear or o o r or 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 i o O O G O G O G O G Face Gezicht G E Z I C H T Gezicht 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 Finger finger f e n g e r finger 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 fist fust f u i s t fust 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 foot foot f o a t foot 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 here har ha a a r har 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 hand hand ha a n d hand 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 heart heart h a a r t heart 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 kidney 
near n e r i r near 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 knee is knee so in dutch we pronounce ka ka n e a knee 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 lip is lip and lips are called lippen 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 l a p p a n lippen liver is called lever l a f a r lever 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 it's between v is pronounced between f and v lever lung long long l o n g long 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 mustache is called snor s n o r snor 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 muscle spear s p e a r spear 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 nail nagel n a g e l nagel 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 neck neck n e k neck neck n e k neck nose nose n e u s nose 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 rib rib r e b rib rib it's r is r is with the thrill rib thumb dumb d o a m e m dumb 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 tooth tand t a n d tand 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 and guys and girls that was our lesson as a practice session please repeat uh after me uh in the whole video and if you like would like to download the pdf of this presentation then please go to ifactor.com i will see you in the next lesson until then take care dah doi hey guys and girls welcome to another episode of learn dutch through english lessons by ifactor.com in this lesson we are going to learn what different colors are called in dutch colors kleuren k l a u r a n kleuren kleuren kleur kleuren color is called kleur and colors are called kleuren uh, usually in dutch for plural we add a n in the end kleuren black zwart z w a r t zwart 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 blue blau b l a u w blau 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 brown 
brown b r u e n brown 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 green khron k r o a n khron 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 gray khrais k r e y a s khrais i n j r pronounce as y khrais it's e n y a khrais khrais gold khoud kh o u d khoud 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 orange orania o r a n y e a orania orania is basically the official color of uh, netherlands orania 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 pink rose r o z a rose 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 purple is purper p u r p e a r purper purper purple red root r o o d root 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 silver silver z e l f a r silver 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 turquoise is turquoise t u r k o o e s turquoise 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 white is wit v e t wit 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 yellow khel k h e a l khel 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 and that's it with this lesson as a practice session please watch this video again and repeat all the words after me if you would like to download the presentation and pdf file of this uh, video then please go to ifactner.com please subscribe to our channel and if you like this video then please thumbs up i will see you in the next lesson until then take care da dui hey guys and girls welcome to another episode of learn dutch through english by ifactner.com lesson series In these lessons we are learning to speak in Dutch through English. In this lesson we are going to learn what different days are called in Dutch and how do we uh, say different things related to days. Let's start our lesson. Days are called dagen in Dutch. Day is called dag and days are called dagen. D A G E N dagen 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 Monday maandag M A A N maan D A G dag maandag 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 Tuesday is called dinsdag d i n s d a g dinsdag dinsdag 
dinsdag. Wednesday is called woensdag. W O E N S wons D A G dag. Woensdag. 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 Thursday is called donderdag. Donderdag. D O N D E R. Donder. Dag. D E G D A H. Dag. Donderdag. 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 Friday. Vrijdag. V R I J Fry because I J R pronounces Y Fry Fry D A G Dag Friday 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 Saturday Saturday and Sunday are usually holidays in Netherlands. Saturday, Zetterdag, Z A T E R Zetter, Dag, D A G Dag, Zetterdag, 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 Zetterdag. Sunday is Zondag, Z O N Zon, D A G Dag, Zondag, 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 Zondag. Today is Vandag, V A N Van, D A A G Dag, Vandag, 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 Vandag. Yesterday is called Christrin, Christren. G A S T E R Gister E N Gisteren 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 Tomorrow is called Morgen M O R G E N Morgen 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 Day before yesterday is called air gestren. A A R air. G A E S T A R A N gestren. Air gestren. Day before yesterday. Day after tomorrow is called over morgen. O V A R over morgen. M O R G A N over morgen over morgen over morgen so guys and girls this was our lesson related to days in dutch as a practice session please watch this video again and repeat all the days after the instructor if you would like to download the pdf of this uh, presentation then please go to ifactner.com if you like this video then please thumbs up please subscribe to our channel i will see you in the next lesson until then take care dag doei hey guys and girls welcome to Learn Dutch through English lesson series by ifectioner.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn what do we call different fruits in Dutch. Fruits are called fruchten in Dutch. F R O C H frucht T A N fruchten fruchten fruchten. Let's start our lesson. Apple, apple, a p p a l, apple, apple, apple. Apricot, abricus, 
A B L I K O O S Abricus 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 Avocado is called avocado A F O C A D O Avocado 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 Banana Banan B A N A A N Banan 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 Blackberry Brambus Brambus B L A A M Bram B A S Brambus 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 Blueberry Bosbus B O S B A S Brosbus Bosbus Bosbus Cantaloupe is called Cantalopa Ka A N Ta A L Cantal O A P A Cantalopa 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 Cherry Curse K A R S Curse 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 Coconut is called Cocos now Coconut Cocos Note K O K O Coco S N O O T Cocos Note Cocos Note Fig Fig Fe E Y Ha Fig 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 Grapes are called Drofen Drofen D L U E F A N Drofen 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 Grapefruit Grapefruit H R A P A Grape F R U E T Group Fred Grip of Fraud Grip Fraud Grip Fraud Gawa is called Hawa G U A F A Hawa 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 Kiwi Fruit is called Kiwi K E V E Kiwi 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 Lemon is called Citroen C E T R O A N Citroen 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 Mango is called Mango M A N G O Mango 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 Nectarine is called Nectarine N A C T A R E N A Nectarine 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 Orange is called Ranye O L A N Y E A Ranye Oranje Oranje Orange is the official Dutch color Papaya is called Papaya P A P A Y E A Papaya 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 Passion fruit fruit is called Passie frucht P A S S E A passe F R U C G H T frucht frucht is fruit and passe is passion passe frucht 
passion fruit usually in dutch we combine different words but uh, they are pronounced differently so it's passifrucht so you you have to know which word ends where and which word starts where so it's passifrucht it not passive rucht it's passifrucht peach is perzek p a r per z e k z perzek 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 pear is pear p a a r pear 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 pineapple ananas a n a n a s ananas 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 plum is prom p r u e m prom 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 pomegranate is called khranat apple khranat apple k r a n a a t khranat a p p a l apple khranat apple khranat apple khranat apple raspberry is called from bos f r a m from b o o s bos from bos from bos from bos strawberry is called ard be ard be a a r d ard b a e b ard be ard be ard be tangerine is called mandarin mandarin m a n man d a r e y e n mandarin i n g r pronounced as y mandarin in dutch mandarin watermelon water water it's water melon watermelon w a t a r water m a l o e n melon watermelon 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 so this was our lesson about fruits in dutch as a practice session please watch this video again and repeat after me and if you would like to download the pdf of this file and do some more exercises then please visit us on ifactner.com if you like this video then please thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel i will see you in the next lesson until then take care da doi hey guys and girls welcome to learn dutch through english lesson series by ifactner.com in this lesson we are going to learn how do we call different types of nuts in dutch nuts are called noten in dutch n o t a n noten 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 let's start our lesson acorn acorn a e k a l acorn 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 hal almond is called amandel a m a n d e l amandel 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 brazil nut paranut p a r a n o o t paranut 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 cashew nut cashew nut cashew nut c a s 
ha a v cashew n o o t nut cashew nut cashew nut cashew nut chestnut castanya k a s t a n y a e castanya 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 hazelnut is called hazelnut ha a z a l hazel n o o t nut hazelnut 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 peanut pinda p e n d a pinda 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 pecan is called pecan nut p e c a n pecan n o o t nut pecan nut pecan nut pecan nut pine nut is called pine bomb pitten pine p e y e n pine bomb b o o m bomb and pitten p e t t a n pitten so it's a three, it, this word is the combination of three words pine bomb pitten pine nut are called pine bomb pit, pitten pine bomb pitten pistachio is called pistachio pistachio p e p e s t a c h a e pistachio 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 walnut is called walnut w a l w a l n o o t nut walnut 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 so guys and girls this was our lesson on how do we call nuts in dutch as a practice session please listen to this video once again and repeat after the instructor if uh, you would like to download the pdf or do some more exercises then please visit ifactioner.com if you liked this video then please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel i will see you in the next tutorial until then dag doei hey guys and girls welcome to learn dutch through english lesson series by ifactioner.com in this lesson we are going to learn how do we call different garden items in dutch garden is town and items are artikelen in dutch garden items town artikelen t o e n town a r t e k k a l a n artikelen town artikelen town artikelen let's start our lesson barbecue barbecue b a r bar b a c u a barbecue 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 bench is bank b a n k bank 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 of or town bank flower is bloom b l o a m bloom 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 garden fork town fork v is pronounced as f town garden fork fork t o e n town f o r k fork town fork town fork town fork hand trowel hand truffle hand 
H A N D hunch truffle T L O F A F A L truffle hunt truffle hunt truffle hunt truffle hunt truffle air is with chill hedge trimmer is hecken scar hecken scar scar is trimmer it is ha a ha ha a n hecken scar s c h a a r scar hecken scar hecken scar some people uh, would say it as hecken scar scar but it's between g and h it's hecken scar hose pipe town slunk t u e n town s l a n g town slunk town slunk town slunk lawn mower grass mower grass is grass k r a s grass mower m a a e a r mower grass mower grass mower grass mower is lawn mower plant is plant p l a n t plant 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 pond is pfeiffer f e ya f e a r pfeiffer 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 rick is hark h a r k hark 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 so you have to do a r trill other in r so it's hark speed is spread 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 s p a d a spread spread it's not spade it's spread sprinkler is sprayer s p r o a e a r sprayer 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 tree boom b o o m boom 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 watching can is hater h e a t a r hater 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 and guys and girls that was our lesson on uh, garden items in dutch as a practice session please watch this video again and repeat every word after the instructor if you would like to download uh, the pdf of this presentation then please go to ifactner.com if you like this video then please thumbs up please subscribe to our channel i will see you in the next tutorial until then dag doe Hey guys and girls, welcome to Learn Dutch through English lesson series by ifactioner.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn what do we call different parts of house in Dutch. Parts of house are called Dylan van het huis. Dylan are parts van het of the house. Dylan van het huis. Let's begin our lesson. Basement. kelder k e l d a r kelder 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 
बाथ टब बाथ काउप बे आ डे बाद के उ ई पे काउप बाद काउप बाद काउप बाद काउप बाथरूम बाद कामर बे आ डे बाद के आ एम ए एर कामर बाद कामर बाद इज बाथ एंड कामर इज रूम बेसन इज कॉल्ड बेकन बे ए का का ए एन बेकन 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 बेडरूम स्लाप कामर एस एल आ पे स्लाप स्लाप मीन्स स्लीपिंग कामर मीन्स रूम का आ एम ए एर कामर स्लाप कामर स्लाप कामर स्लाप कामर कारपेट इज कॉल टपाइट इट्स आई एन जी आर प्रोनाउंस एज वाई टपाइट टा टे आ पे ई ये टे टपाइट 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 सीलिंग इज प्लाफोंड पे एल आ एफ ओ एन डे प्लाफोंड 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 चिमनी इज स्कोर स्टीन एस से हा ओ ओ एर स्कोर एस टे ई एन स्टीन स्कोर स्टीन स्कोर स्टीन स्कोर स्टीन फेंस इज कॉल्ड हक हा ए के हक 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 फायर प्लेस इज हार्ड हार्ड हा आ आ एर डे हार्ड हार्ड हार्ट गैरेज इज खाराजे खाराजे खा आ एर आ खा ए खाराजे 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 गार्डन इज टाउन टे ओ टे ओ ई एन टाउन 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 gate is port the word portal has been derived from the word port p o o l t port 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 kitchen is kaukan k ka a u ka a n kaukan kaukan कोकन लिविंग रूम इज वॉन कामर वे ओ ओ एन वॉन का आ एम ए एर कामर वॉन कामर वॉन कामर वॉन कामर लॉफ्ट इज जोल्डर जेट ओ एल डे ए आर जोल्डर जोल्डर जोल्ट रेडिएटर इज राडिया राडियाटर राडियाटर एर आ डे ई आ टे ओ एर राडियाटर 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 रूफ इज डक डे आ के डक 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 रूम इज कामर K A M A R, Kamar, 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 Kamar. Rug is tapet. T A P E Y T, tapet, tapet, tapet. Shed is score, score. S C 
H U U R score 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 shower is douche D O U C H E douche 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 stairs is chop T R A P chop Trap. Trap. Toilet is vese. Ve se vese. Or you can say toilet. Wall is moor. M o o r moor. M o o r moor. 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 So this was our lesson on. How do we call different uh, parts of house in Dutch? So guys and girls, there's a practice session. Please listen to this video once again and repeat after the instructor. If you would like to download the PDFs and do some more exercises regarding this video, then please visit ifactioner.com. Please like our video and uh, please subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Dag, doei. Hey guys and girls, welcome to Learn Dutch Through English Lesson Series by ifectner.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn how do we call different metals in Dutch. Metals are called metalen in Dutch. M A T A L A N. Metalen. Metalen, metalen. Let's start our lesson. Aluminium is called aluminium. Aluminium. A l u m e n e u m. Aluminium. 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 Brass is called massing. M A S S E N G, messing, messing, messing. Bronze is called bronzer. B R O N Z A N, bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. Copper is called copper, copper. K O P A R A N copper 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 diamond is called diamond T E R M R N T diamond 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 emerald is called Emerald. A A M A R A L D. Emerald. 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 Gold is called goud. G O U D. Goud. 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 Iron is called iron. E Ya Z A R A N Iceran 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 Lead is called Leiden L A E D A N Leiden There is a very popular Dutch university called Leiden University Leiden Leiden Platinum is called platina. Platina. P L R T E N A. Platina. 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 Ruby is called rubine. Remember that I and J are pronounced as Y in Dutch. 
it's e and ya y robain r r o b e ya n robain 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 sapphire is called sapphire s a f f e a r sapphire 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 silver is called silver it's uh, silver s z e l f e r silver 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 steel is called stall stall s t a a l stall stall tin is called tin t e n tin 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 so guys and girls this was our lesson on how do we call different metals in dutch uh, to practice uh, this uh, lesson please listen to this lesson once again and repeat after the instructor for more uh, uh, pdfs and exercises please visit ifactner.com if you liked our video then please thumb up thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to our channel i will see you in the next video until then take care dag doeg most common dutch words in this video we are going to discuss most common dutch words let's start our lesson ya means yes ya it's y a ya and ne ne n a a ne means no ik means i ye means you and if you would like to be polite then you can say u means you u and uh, hi means he zai means she and het means it so these are pronouns and we have got yuli means you people zai means they and then we have got ray which means we remember that i and j are pronounced as y then we have got to uh, hab which means to have have has or have with the ik ik hab i have ye or u hapt or heft it is hapt uh, hi zai and hat he she it heft and uh, then with plurals we have yuli haben you people 
have it's yuli haban zai de haban zai haban and to we haban and then we have got the word ben or it's sein sein means to be i am ik ben you you are yai bent yai is used for a specific you when you are talking to a specific person then it's yai u bent hai zai hat sein he she it is and then we have got yuli sein ze sein and we sein and then uh we have got sorry sorry is used for excuse me sorry or we use the word pardon p a r r r is pronounced with a trill so it's pardon pardon sorry and uh, when you meet someone you can say in an informal environment hello ha a l l o hello or you can say hoy or in a formal environment you can say khuda morgen and after that you can say who got it who how got means going at how is it going at is it how goes it or it generally means how r u and the answer to this question is good morning het gaat goed het gaat goed n n is and and then you have to ask and met who and with you met is with you and how about you and how is it going with you hello who hot head head hot cold dank u wel and then we have got thank yous Uh, first of all it's dank ye well so it's a one word dank ye well but it's an impolite version alternatively you can say dank 
u wel. Dank u wel. Dank je wel, dank u wel. Or you can say mijn dank. M I J N mijn. Mijn means mijn. Dank. My thank you. Or you can simply say bedankt. Bedankt. Dank je wel, dank u wel, mijn dank, bedankt. Then we have got for the word da, da and het. Da, het. And then for this and that, We use dit, dat, or we use deze and the. Basically, uh, there is a difference between these words, but right now it's out of the scope of this tutorial. And these are related to da and het Wor uh, words. So we will discuss it some other time. And then we have got questions. Question words. Uh, first is what? What is? What? Then we have got who, who is, how. Then we have got warum, which means why. What, who, warum. And then we have got uh, who we where is that who is that and then we have got uh, one ear which means when one air when and then another question word is where and in Dutch we ask war and uh, the last one is uh, which which means welk which so these are the question words then we have got uh, hood which means good slecht slecht which means bad baby which means baby and uh, for uh, a boy we use yon hun and for a girl for a little girl small girl we do use may she may she and for a man we say man man for a woman we use the word frau frau friend 
then you have for friend we use friend friend way is pronounced as spay friend and for boss we use the word boss boss and for uh, mister we use here here ha e e r here and uh, you can say the here when you ask uh, when you are writing you write the here and when you are talking to someone then you can say maneer to a male person maneer maneer and for miss we use miss usually uh, n means and of means or n and of and or or and uh, then we can use mifrau for a woman we can use mifrau mifrau mrs miss which means mifrau means mrs miss when you want to be polite it's mifrau and then we have got some words com which means come go ya kha of kha which means to go here which means here dar which means there will means want equal coffee i want a cup of coffee equal and cup of coffee i want a cup of coffee equal and uh, then when you are going when you want to say goodbye then you say dag dag or doi dag doi or guten nacht for the nacht means good night and uh, similarly you can say khuda afwan or khudandakh khudandakh is good day or uh, good afternoon khudan dakh which means good afternoon when someone say to you feel feel means much feel success much success or it means good luck so these were some most common dutch words which you should know when starting learning dutch i will see you in the next uh, tutorial until then take care and please visit 
ifactner.com for exercises related to this tutorial. Dag, doei, goedendag, goeie, goeie avond, goeie nacht. Hey guys and girls, welcome to your lesson number two of Learn Dutch Conversation by ifectner.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn some simple phrases about grocery shopping. Shopping or grocery shopping is called Bod Schapendun. Bod Schapendun. Bod Schapendun. Bod Schapendun. Let's start our lesson. Grocery shopping. Bod Schapendun. How much does this cost? What cost it? What cost it? What cost it? How much does this cost? What cost it? Is it fresh? Is het fresh? Is it fresh? Simple. Is it fresh? Is it fresh? Is it fresh? It is too expensive. Het is te duur. Te is too and duur. Duur. Duur is expensive. Het is te duur. Het is te duur. Het is te duur. It is too expensive. It is stale. Het is moff. 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 Het is stil. This is cheap. Dit is goed koop. Goed koop is basically cheap. This is cheap. Dit is goed koop. Dit is goed koop. It's ge. Goed koop. Dit is goed koop. So guys and girls, let's uh, start our practice session. I will uh, speak in English and I would like you to translate and speak in Dutch. Grocery shopping. Yes, boodschappen. Boodschappen doen. Boodschappen doen. How much does this cost? What what cost it? What cost it? What does it cost? Is it fresh? Is it fresh? Good. It is too expensive. That is te doer. Doer. U. U is pronounced as u. Doer. Het is te doer. It is stale. Yes, het is moff. This is cheap. Very good. This is goedkoop. So guys and girls, thank you very much for joining us for lesson number two of Learn Dutch Conversation by ifactioner.com. If you would like to do some more exercises and download this presentation, then please go to ifactioner.com. If you like this presentation, then please give us a thumbs up. I will see you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Dag, doei. Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Learn Dutch Conversation lessons by ifactioner.com. In lesson number four, we will be learning how do we express ourselves in terms of moods in Dutch. Let's start our lesson. Moods are called stemmingen, stemmingen in Dutch. Stem, mingen. So it's G. It, the pro, uh, the sound is G. It's not ha as in the usual words because it's in the middle. 
and uh, we will talk more about it later on Stemmingen Stemmingen Moods Stemmingen I am happy Ich bin blei I and J are pronounced as Y Ich bin blei Ich bin blei Ich bin blei I am happy I am sad Ich bin verdrietig Ich bin verdrietig Now J is pronounced as Kha Ich bin verdrietig Ich bin verdrietig Ik ben verdrietig. I am sad. I am excited. Ik ben opgewonden. Opgewonden. Ik ben opgewonden. Some people would say it like this. Ik ben opgewonden. Da. So N in a very soft uh, uh, noise. But some people would say, just like in English, uh, op gewonden. It's not gewonden, it's g. Op gewonden. Ik ben op gewonden. I am excited. I am energetic. Ik ben energetic. Ik ben energiek. Ik ben energiek. Now it's giek. Ik ben energiek. Ik ben energiek. I am lonely. Ik ben eenzaam. Een is one. Eenzaam, lonely. Ik ben eenzaam. Ik ben eenzaam. Ik ben eenzaam. I am lonely. So guys and girls, let's begin our practice session. I will speak in English and I would expect you to speak in Dutch and please do it loudly. Moods. Stemmingen. Yes, good. I am happy. Ja, blij. Ik ben blij. I am sad. Yes, ik ben verdrietig. Verdrietig. I am excited. Ik ben op Gewonden. Because now it's starting with G, so it's we are saying op gewonden. I am energetic. Yes, it's energiek. Because G is uh, uh, the word, the second part of the word is starting with G, so it's G. Ik ben energiek. I am lonely. Yes, ik ben eenzaam. So guys and girls, uh, let's uh, repeat the words in Dutch or the phrases in Dutch one more time. Stemmingen. Ik ben blij. Ik ben verdrietig. Verdrietig. Ik ben opgewonden. Ik ben energiek. Energiek. Ik ben eenzaam. So guys and girls, if you would like to download the presentation and do some more exercises, then please visit ifactioner.com. If you liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up. I will see you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Bye.